What's going on, people? Welcome back to the VDC space. Today, we're going to be doing something interesting. We're going to be modeling a basic bridge pylon. Uh, we're going to use a generic uh, family template in order for us to generate our bridge pylon. And then we're going to come up with our own base for our bridge pylon. Uh, produced from the foundation family template now before i get started i would like to ask you guys to please subscribe to the channel if you are new if you already subscribe hit that notification button as i upload revit tutorials and beam modeling tutorials three times every week now without further ado let's jump into revit so here we are in revit 23 i'm going to open up a new construction template and then i'm going to go with I'm going to go to file new and then family and then drop down and then choose metric generic model. So I'm going to say open and then go to the front elevation and then I'm going to set up my uh, reference uh, planes. So I'm just going to extend this middle reference plane and then I'm going to lock it again and then extend this uh, reference level. And now I'm going to go to create and then refer I'm just going to increase my scale to one is to 200 and then go to with uh, go to reference plane and then I'm going to place a uh, vertical reference planes on the side like this and then I'm going to adjust them. So I'm going to make this one 1500 millimeters from Actually, I'm going to make it 15,000 millimeters uh, from the middle reference plane. And then this one also, I'm going to make it 15,000 millimeter from the middle reference plane. And then I'm going to say create again, go to reference plane, and then I'm going to place a horizontal reference plane. I'm going to adjust this and make it 32,000 millimeters. And then I'm going to select it and then say copy. And then I'm going to copy it by another 92,000 millimeters. So our bridge pylon is going to be massive. So I'm just going to extend these uh, reference planes so I can see things more clearly. And then the middle one, I'm going to lock it again. And then I'm going to say create again reference plane. And then from this point, I'm going to draw another vertical reference planes. And then from the middle reference planes, I'm going to offset them by 3000 millimeters this side. And then another 3000 this side. Perfect. And now it's time to model our bridge pylon. And in order for us to do that, uh, we're going to go with create and then extrusion. And then from this insertion point, we're going to take it upwards diagonally until we meet this insertion point. And then I'm going to take it horizontally by 6,000 until we meet this insertion point. And then again, diagonally until we meet this insertion point. Perfect. And now from this point, I'm going to take it down di diagonally and until we meet the lower reference level and then with uh, 100, 100 degrees. So I'm going to take it to the left by 3,000 millimeters and then take it upwards again until we meet this reference plane. Then I'm going to select these three lines, go to mirror pick axis, and then pick the middle reference plane, and then everything is copied to the other side. And now in order for us to uh, enclose our bridge pylon, so I'm going to go to create again. Uh, I think we, we are still under extrusion, so I'm going to select the line, set the offset to 1,500, and then from this point, I'm going to draw a horizontal line, and then I'm going to bring it down like this. Then I'm going to say trim and extend, trim and extend. Then I'm going to go with pick lines, set the offset to 3,000 millimeters, and then I'm going to pick these lines. And then I'm going to pick these lines. And then I'm going to say trim and extend. Trim and extend. Trim and extend. 
and now i'm just gonna place a random horizontal line from this point to this point and then i'm gonna select it and then from this reference uh plane i'm gonna offset it by 60,000 millimeters i'm gonna select this line again and then i'm gonna copy it down by 3000 millimeters and then I'm just going to attach it to this uh, diagonal line and then press SL on my keyboard to slice these lines. And then I'm going to remove these two lines. So this is what we have. Perfect. And now the next thing is we are basically done with our bridge pylon. So we are going to add material to this. So I'm going to type in concrete. And then I'm going to drop down and I'm just going to say concrete precast and then load it in, apply, and then OK. And then say finish edit mode. And then I'm going to go with uh, floor plans, reference level. As you can see, our bridge pylon is uh, very, uh, it's very tall, so we can't see beyond our set constraints. So I'm going to type in VR for view range. And then the top offset, I'm going to set it to 90,000 millimeters. The cut plane, I'm going to set it to 90,000 also. So I'm going to say apply. Okay, now we can see our bridge pylon. And now I'm going to say, I'm going to choose our option of dimension. And then actually I'm going to select my extrusion and then extend it uh, so that we can see our reference plane this side. So I'm going to select my dimension. And then I'm going to uh, select, uh, place my dimensions like this. And then hover over our extrusion, press tab until we are only left with choosing only one line. So I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to adjust the thickness. This side, I'm going to make it 1000 millimeters from this horizontal reference plane. And I'm going to press enter. And then this one, press tab, and then I'm going to set the offset to 1,500 millimeter. And then when I go to the 3D view, so this is what we have. Perfect. So I'm going to change the level of detail and set it to fine and then the visual graphics to realistic. And as you can see, this is our bridge pylon. So I'm going to say load into project. I'm not going to save this. I already did. And then I'm just going to place it like this. Go to the 3D view and this is what we have. The next thing is we're going to generate our base for our bridge pylon. And in order for us to do that, we're going to go with file, new, family. And then I'm going to drop down and then I'm going to go with metric structural foundation. Open. And then as you can see, this is our floor plan or our reference level. So we're going to place our foundation. I'm going to go with extrusion. And then rectangle, I'm going to randomly place it like this and then adjust the parameters. So from this vertical reference plane, I'm going to offset it by 12,500 millimeters. Then this side also, I'm going to offset it by 12,500 millimeters. I'm just going to change my scale and make it 1 is to 200. And then from this one, I'm going to offset it by, uh, I'm just going to make it 10,000 millimeters. And then this side, I'm going to make it another 10,000 millimeters. Perfect. So we can actually reduce it and make it 8,000. Then this one also, we're going to make it 8,000. Perfect. And now we're going to uh, we're gonna say finish edit mode, go to the front elevation, and then I'm going to hover over here, press tab, and then select this line, and then the thickness, I'm going to make it 4,000 uh, 4, millimeters. Press enter, and this is what we have. And now we're going to model our chamfer for our our pylon base so in order for us to do that is we're going to go with create swept blend and then we're going to say sketch path and then we're going to set our reference to reference plane center front or back okay and then from the middle i'm going to take it upwards by 2000 millimeters perfect 
and then this is our this is where our first profile is going to be based and this is where our second profile is going to be based so i'm going to say finish edit mode select uh, profile one edit profile go to floor plan reference level open view and then i'm going to place my rectangle like this on top of our first on top of our rectangular base i'm going to say finish edit mode select profile two edit profile select my rectangle and then i'm going to place it like this but i'm going to reduce this one so i'm going to select this side drag it this side and then adjust the offset like this and then from this from from our outer rectangle we're going to offset it by 2500 millimeters and then i'm going to do the same thing for all the sides so it's going to be 2500 millimeters and then this side 2500 millimeters thousand five hundred millimeters and say finish edit mode go to the 3d view uh, open up the 3d view and say finish edit mode and this is what you have so you can change the level of detail and then set the graphics to realistic and then select uh, all the extrusions you have generated go to material and then say add material to this so i'm gonna type in concrete and then I'm also going to make it a uh, concrete precast, apply, OK. So this is what we have. So I'm going to say load into project and close. I'm not going to save this. I already did. So I'm going to place it. As you can see, this is where your pylon is based. And when you when you hover over while you are still selected your base, uh, you can see these uh, two uh, blue lines which guide you on, on how you can place your base uh, symmetrically so i'm gonna place it like this go to the 3d view and this is what we have so i'm gonna select my pylon go to the south elevation and then i'm gonna say move and then i'm just gonna adjust my pylon take it upwards and then place it on top of our base so this is what we have so the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna place our our piles of course so go back to the level zero so just uh, place your reference planes you're gonna place it on one end like this and then drag it downwards and then select your reference plane uh, go to array or you can press ar on your keyboard and then we're gonna place our reference plane which will guide us on how we can place or how we can configure our piles on our base so we're going to set our constraint, set the number to 7, and then make sure your constraints are set to last, and then you're going to select from this point until this point. And as you can see, everything is copied. You're going to do the same thing with the other orientation. You're going to place it like this, and then drag it this way, select it, array or AR on your keyboard, and then uh, set your number to five make sure your constraints are set to last and then you're going to select from this point until this point perfect and then you're going to say finish and now we're going to say insert load family metric library uk contents and say structural foundation you're going to select your pile steel pipe we're going to change the material later so we're going to say open go to structure under foundation you're going to go with isolated and then you're going to place your pile where these uh, reference planes intersect so you're going to place it like this uh, set your visual style to wireframe or actually in order for you to see your structural structural components just go to view uh, plan views and then structural plans and then select these two make sure this box is checked do not duplicate the existing views okay and then open up your structural plans and then go to level zero and then set your visual your graphics display to wireframe now you can see your pile select your pile and then go to edit family select your pile on on your family template actually you can go under you can go with a uh, structural material for model behavior you're gonna set it from steel to uh, precast concrete and then go under properties you're gonna go with family types 
and then set their structural material from metal to concrete of course so you're gonna drop down and then make it precast concrete apply okay apply okay load into project i'm not gonna save this Override the existing views and its parameters. Select your pile again, edit type, duplicate, and then you're gonna make this one 3000 millimeter concrete pile. Okay, and then the depth, you're gonna make it uh, 25,000 millimeters. The diameter, you're gonna make it, the diameter, you're gonna make it 3000 millimeters. Apply, and then okay. So this is what we have. And now, actually, the diameter, just go back to edit type. You can make it 2,000 millimeters. Apply, and then OK. And then you're going to copy it and then place it where the reference planes are, are intersecting. So you're going to place it like this. Control, select these three. And then you're going to copy them to other intersecting points. Go back to the 3D view and this is what we have. So we are actually done with our bridge pylon uh, representation and as you can see uh, it's representative. You can extract quantities, you can, uh, you, you, you will be able to inform the estimators of how much concrete they will be using in terms of manufacturing these bridge pylons on site and all that and the amount of quantities, the amount of con the concrete that's required for your bases and your piles. So it's very much valuable. Like I said, guys, the basis of a construction model is you have to separate uh, elements as much as you can because it makes it easier for construction sequencing and also cost estimation. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope I can meet you guys uh, on the next one. And have a lovely day, have a lovely evening. And uh, yeah, I hope you learned something today. So peace.